Hello and welcome to another episode of Todd's In My Kitchen. I'm your host, Todd Thomas, and today we're at Delish Emporium, which is on South Jefferson in Benton Park, and this is co-owner Jay Sweets. Jay, talk a little bit about Delish Emporium. What are you guys? Um, Delish Emporium is a variety of different desserts that we do here. Um, I like to majority play around with uh, puff pastries and donuts. Um, and croissants. That's one of my big things I like to make is apple pie croissant from time to time. That sounds fantastic. So what is it that you have me in here that we're going to make today? Okay, today we're going to make our cake donuts. Okay. Uh, waffle batter cake donuts. That waffle we, batter, batter cake, cake donuts. donuts. Okay. Yes. That we actually stick our uh, waffle cookies inside of it and then we put one on top too as well. So there's a waffle cookie inside the donut yep. and then one on top. Correct. Okay, well, I'm gonna be uh, totally frank with you here. I've never made donuts before, so this is gonna be exciting for me. Oh, this one's gonna be easy. Okay, so t tell us how we get going. All right, so we're gonna add our dry ingredients inside the mixer first. Okay. And then we'll whisk, whisk, whisk in our wet ingredients besides the butter. And then after that, we we'll add the butter to it and put it in our piping bag. Okay, what are our dry ingredients that we're gonna add in first? Flour brown sugar, a little baking soda, baking powder, some salt, and then we have our waffle cookies crunched up already. All right, dry ingredients first. Yep. Coming right here. Bam. Just like that. All right, even this goes in, that, right? That goes in, okay. too. And then we're gonna just stir it up just a little bit to get that mixed in there. Okay. What do you call these types of mixers? These are just a regular stand kitchen aid mixer. Yeah, well, it's better than using the hand one right now. Almost there. Yes, yeah. it is. A lot, a lot less work. Does it matter how fast you go? No. Just want to get all the clumps out, out of it. it. Right? Yeah. And then you can stop. All right. Then we'll whisk, in, whisk our eggs. Okay. Our milk. We got a little vanilla, house-made vanilla extract. And then we add a little secret sauce in there. How many eggs are in here? Two. Two eggs. And uh, is this cream or is it milk? It's or uh, whole milk. About 76 milk. grams of whole milk. Okay. Good, just like that. Okay. And then we put on low speed. Okay, oh, low speed yep. first, all right. And then slowly pour that inside. What's the purpose of uh, pouring it in slowly? Uh, to make sure it all doesn't clump up together. Okay. All right, you're looking good? That was looking real good. There we go, I was on, I was on medium. And then you can take your offset spatula okay. and stop it okay. and scrape down the bowl. All right. To make sure you get all the dryness that's at the bottom. Okay, can I lick the batter yet? That's no, my favorite thing. No, not yet, all right. not yet. <laughs> all right, so once we kind of move that all around in there with our spatula, what's gonna be our next step? You're gonna add your butter. Okay. And how much butter do we have here? We have 113 grams of butter. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing this about 12 years. Okay. All right, now I put this back down. Yeah, just like that. And you just want to mix it until it all incorporates together. Okay. All right. I have the pink mixer, by the way. It looks good. It looks, looks good, good on me. Then, Almost yeah. a, yes, it does. It looks really good on All you. All right. Yeah, so that's okay. about it. Shut that down. Pop it up. Okay. And then we'll take our bags. And okay. we're going to pour all of it inside of our bag. All right. Make sure you scrape off the... Scrape that off. Okay, next, next, next we step. take this out. Is there a yes. way to get that off yeah. of there? Just, oh, just like a that. little twist. Twist and shout, baby, twist and shout. All right, now. I scrape it all down and make sure all the dry. Okay, I see what we're doing here. There's a little bit of stuff still around. Yep. It's all mixed up. All right, and, and then, then just. What, what was in the sprinkles that you had there? That was our birthday cake waffle cookies. Okay. That was. And that's something else that you make from scratch here, right? Correct, yes. And then you'll take your donut pan. Okay. And you just. Hit me with a spray. spray. It's like, is that what, like Pam or what do you call that stuff? It's just any old kitchen oil. Okay, kitchen oil spray. spray. Yep. 
This is just so when they come out the oven, they just pop right on out. Okay. They don't yeah. get stuck. That would be bad if you turn them over and they just stay there. Correct. And then yeah. this stuff just sticks, sticks to, to the, the bottom, bottom and you're frustrated. Yeah. Or they're just going to break off if they try to get them out. Right. So now we're going to do this. Yep. Okay. Get this up. And then you just take Pull it like this that. Out. All right. Now, okay, I've never used one of these okay. either. What's this called? It's called a piping bag. A what? Piping bag. A piping bag. Yes. Okay. Um, pastry is bag. It's going pastry to bag was going to come out. Yep. Uh, I almost was playing it like the bagpipe. <laughs> okay. So. You're right handed? I am right handed. So you hold it like this with your right hand. Okay. And this would be like your, your left hand to be your guide. Okay. So you want to come down, squeeze with your right hand. Like that. I would say that's pretty good for my first oh, one. Yeah, it's really good. If I do so, say so much. <laughs> All right, and next you just up. keep the process going. Okay, can you put too much in there? Yes. Too okay. much to where you won't get the, the correct rise to it. And is it that almost too little? No, that's perfect. Okay. All right. So I know what my barometer is now. It's all about the pressure of uh -huh. what you're squeezing out. But if it were, there you, you want. I'm used to doing it. Those look pretty good, right? Yes, those look okay, great. Okay, now put this back in here yep. like this. Just like so that. Put it up, up yeah, like Just that. like that, so the no, we don't no want to leak it out, right? right? Otherwise, we're going to make donuts in the bottom of yep. this thing, and that's not good. Nope. Okay? So then we'll take this and we put it in the oven for six minutes. All right, Jay, before we pop these in the oven, again, let's go over. What's in this? We just got a little bit of flour, brown sugar, baking soda, baking powder, um, a little some of our waffle batter cookies crunched up, and then we have a little bit of milk, eggs, and butter. Okay, and then we put them in this in this uh, donut, donut tin, right? And yep. then we're gonna throw it in the oven at what what temperature? Three hundred degrees. All right, here we go. All right, Jay, the donuts are out. They were in there for what? Six minutes. Six minutes. Okay, and so we've got uh, you have three, I have three. What are we gonna do now? We're gonna decorate them. Yes. Okay, tell me what the process is here. All right, so we take the donuts and we dip it inside of our vanilla glaze that we have that we use our house made vanilla for. Mm -hmm. um, it's just about a pound of powdered sugar, some milk, and then we put our vanilla extract inside of it. Okay. And then after that, we're gonna take some of our sprinkles, sprinkle half of it, and then take one of our waffle cookies and stick it right in the middle of it. I'm gonna ask you something straight up. Why only half sprinkles? I'm not a big sprinkle guy, so I end up only decorating half of it at a time. And it just, it looked better to me than decorating the whole thing, and I really don't like sprinkles Fair so enough. much. Fair <laughs> enough, fair enough, fair enough, all right. So, uh, so just take I'll, one. I'll watch you go first gotcha. and I'll follow. So, so you, you take, take the donut. It. Oh, you drop it in there. Yep. Oh yeah, that's thicker than I thought, okay? You're gonna get messy, that's why we're wearing the gloves. Yeah, so you gotta make sure to shake it off. That's a Taylor Swift song, do you know that? Not did not. Shake it off. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's some thick stuff, that glaze. Well, we want it to be thick so when they just sit there, they don't go all on the sides and drip all the way down to the bottom. Jay, I am 0 for 1, but hopefully my next one is, and I'm not, I wouldn't want to stick my fingers in there now, right? I got you, I'll, 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 well, you I'll have, decorate. Only on half, Jay. Yes, yeah, only on half. Okay, that's yeah. all you do? Yep. Okay, you want to place, take, okay, so question on these cookies, can you tell us what's in there? Negative. Okay, you can't, can you give us an idea of, it's, okay, it's, so, not, it's not an actual waffle. No, You it's just not, wouldn't make a waffle not, and put it on there. What, what they came from is our daughter was, in the kitchen with us, and I had a little bit name? Penelope. Penelope, what a beautiful name. Thank Penelope. you. I had a little bit of actual waffle batter and cookie batter left over, and I combined the two together, and I pressed them inside of a waffle urn just so she can let us get to work, basically. And she loved them. She called them num nums. So technically, <laughs> they're called num nums. <laughs> That's great. So num num is a waffle cookie. Yes. Okay. And this we, next one I know is going to be better. Yeah, yeah, this one's gonna be better, Jay. Look at this. Oh, we have an actual hole. All right? All right. Okay, can I go in there with my fingers like that? Yeah. Only on half. Only on half. I went a little heavy on this one, because I like sprinkles, Jay, not like you. I love sprinkles. Yeah, this is a, a, a denser than a waffle, Correct. right? Yep. Okay. Look at that. Take it. I think I got a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's talk again about what we have here. This is called a what? A waffle batter donut. And we have inside the, the donut is? Waffle cookies. We have the flour, brown sugar, uh, eggs, milk, and butter. 
Okay. And then on top, we did the glaze. We did the glaze, and we did the sprinkles with the waffle cookie on top of it. And you are delicious emporium. Correct. All right, we're going to take a short break. I'm going to take a bite of this, and uh, when we come back, much more, so don't leave. Welcome back to Todd's in My Kitchen. Once again, we are here at Delish Emporium, and now we're joined by co-owner Bree Delights, who is the fiance of Jay Sweets, who we just made those delicious cake batter donuts. Uh, what is his specialty? He does everything dough related. Okay. Fun fact, I'm actually celiac, so I um, kind of can't really be around the, the flour and all that. Okay. So that is his specialty. Anything dough related, he takes care of all of it. Okay, so he does the donut and dough side. Yep. What side is your specialty? I do more, um, I love working with chocolate and cakes. I love okay. custom cakes. I love um, making little mini cakes, but definitely chocolate as well. Perfect, Bree. So what are we going to be making today? Today we're going to be making up cake roulettes. So it's like a cake pop, but an elevated version. An elevated version of a cake pop. But yeah. I love the cake pops. They're I, good. I, They're at good. At a wedding reception, you just grab them off. I eat about five or six, seven, eight, yeah. ten, twelve, fourteen of them. Yeah. So these have kind of been compared to uh, Swiss rolls. So you get the cake and the cream okay. inside of it. Right. But today we're going to have strawberry jam inside of it. Okay. So we've got some stuff in front of us. What is yes. this thing here called? This is a mold. You can get them in several different shapes and sizes. This is a silicone mold. You can even bake in the oven with it, but okay. we're not baking in it today. We're just going to use it to outline the chocolate. Okay. So what we'll do first is we will take our chocolate, kind of smoosh it around a little bit. It's not open yet. Okay. It won't All spill right. anywhere. Okay. And then we're oh, going to... So just, uh, is this something melted down, some chips or some, yep. of some um, sort? So you, you temper it. So with chocolate, it has to be at a right temperature. You heat it up to a high temperature, bring it down a little bit to cool it off, um, and you get that nice shine to it, that nice crack to it. If it's not tempered correctly, it's just, it'll still be okay, it'll still right. taste good, but you won't get that nice... <laughs> Okay. A little crunch to it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we will cut a little hole here. Will you cut mine too? Yes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze it into the three holes. Um, fill them up if you want to. It makes it easier. Okay. So it doesn't, you, you want it pretty full, right? Yep. Yep. Because okay. we're trying to get the whole thing. And then... We'll take our little spatula here and just kind of go. Now, hold on. I did a lot oh. in that first one. Oh, you're good. Okay. okay. All right. We can, you can scoop some over okay, if you need great. to. Okay, it's it's going to get a little messy, but it's all right. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Here, I'm, I'll all top right. you off on that last one there. Just, just a smidge. I went. I filled that first one. That's okay. 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 That's okay. We're good, right? It's all going to get dumped okay. out and safe. So then you'll take your spatula. Okay. And you'll just kind of smooth it up on the edges so we cover the whole inner surface of okay, it. Okay, but you're, but you're leaving the middle kind of a little bit hollow, is that what you'd say? Oh, well, or? we're going to dump the excess okay. chocolate out. So okay. we're not too worried about the middle part right now. Okay. Just want to make sure all the edges are covered nice and good all the way to the tippy top. So you're kind of making a form, if you will. Yeah, right? exactly. Okay. It's going to be just a chocolate shell when we're done with okay, it. Okay, got it. It's like painting. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? And then when that part's done, you take it and you just kind of smooch it on the table for a minute, try and get some air bubbles out. Okay, all right. All right, this part's gonna get a little crazy. Okay. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna flip it over onto this. Okay, it's okay. not just gonna run out. No, nope, it's okay. I trust it's, you. It'll seal up on there, we'll, okay. we'll get it all cleaned up. All right. You see, it's just gonna kind of just gently shake it. 
Oh, yeah, that one had a lot in it there. <laughs> so I told you. Oh, so to okay. So I see what we're doing. We're just making a shell okay. out of it. Yeah. And then we'll take our spatula and just kind of clean it up a little bit. Put it right on the parchment paper there. Perfect. All right, so what's our next step? Um, let's see. You can put it right on here, and we're going to pop it in. The, you can put it on mine. Okay. We'll pop it All in right. the fridge. So now we put it in the fridge for about two minutes. Okay. Yes. So we just did the mold. Yes. It's going in there to set for two minutes, right? Yep. And then inside of that, I assume we're going to put this stuff here, which is what? So this is our cake mixture today. So this okay. one specifically has chocolate cake, strawberry cake, strawberry cookie pieces, and vanilla buttercream here. Yeah. What, what, what is it that gives it that consistency? Because it's kind of like almost pliable. It's like almost like Play-Doh. Like, exactly, it's yeah. like a Play-Doh. Um, so when you take the cake or cupcakes, whatever that's already cooked, and you mix it with that buttercream, it's gonna make it this texture right butter here. Buttercream is the key. Buttercream okay. is definitely the key. It adds right. that moisture that will lock it all together. Is this edible as is right yes. now? Okay. Yep. It's already cooked. It's can I just try a little Go taste? for it. I can't eat it, but My you can, most definitely. Okay, yeah. Good, no, right? No, really. Yeah. So again, this is I'm the queen of leftovers, so this is my way to use up. Um, since I do a lot of cakes, you you got to mm -hmm. even out the cake. So I'll have you know some cake scraps left over, mm -hmm. uh, maybe like a muffin or two here left over. Any cookies we have, we'll crumble them up. Like this will go on top. This is strawberry cookies that we've crumbled up, similar to the waffle batter donuts. Right. We use the waffle cookies, right? There's strawberry cookies in here. Okay, it seems to me like that's a, a great way to create new things in the kitchen, right? Yes. To find new things that work together, maybe something you would never try. You got a leftover here, you just throw it together. Here exactly. with the buttercream, I, buttercream makes everything good too, right? Yes, <laughs> there's been so many times I've come up with different flavors of this where Jay's like, mm, I don't know about that. And he tries it and he's like, I would have never thought that that would be good. Tell Jay to never doubt you again. Oh, he's learned. <laughs> he's he's learned, learned, right? Yes. And, and we're here today at your brick and mortar, which is on South Jefferson in Benton yep. Park. So you're open for walk-in for people just to come in and get something, or you're available also for people to, to come in and maybe make an order or a special order, or even online, right? You have a website yep, as yep. well. Online is the best way, delishemporium.com. So let's see, this was yours okay. here. So what we're gonna do okay. is take a little bit off, break okay. it off. A little bit, about like Kind of smush it together okay. in your hand. Okay. It's, it's fun, we're playing with Play-Doh over here. It almost, uh, yeah, it's uh, like a Tootsie Roll too, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I can see that, I uh -huh. can see that. So we're okay. just gonna kinda smush it out as best okay. you can into kinda like a long rectangle. Okay. Cause the idea here is we're gonna put it in and it's gonna sit up on the sides and on the bottom, but we're gonna leave a hole in the middle, a little dent okay. in the middle. So this is really finger food all the way for you. All right, looks good. Look pretty good, right? Yep, so we'll just kind of slide it in. Okay. And then, again, kind of make sure you leave a hole. Oh my gosh, mine fell apart. It's okay, it, it happens, it okay. happens. It's gonna be just as delicious when it comes out. You're a great mom, I can tell. <laughs> I try. All right. So okay. see how there's just like a yeah, little so basically in the a little there? pocket. I'm gonna guess that we're gonna squirt something in there at yeah, some point. Yeah, yeah, right? we are. Let's okay, see. then I do we'll the do next it. one. Yeah. We can just I'm gonna use a little more them. this time because I, I felt like I was uh, didn't have enough of that cake batter. When we're said and done, this is gonna be called what now? A cake roulette. A cake roulette. Yes, um, and, and that name is just because of the shape of it. But again, this can be made in any shape, silicone mold. So again, it's anything people have on hand that you don't want to throw away. You just kind of mash right. it all together. It'll the, still the taste just fine. Queen of leftovers, you are. Queen of leftovers. By the way, this last one I think I did really well. Oh, that's perfect. It's ready to go. Here, we'll just do this for now. Okay. okay. So now we take our strawberry jam. Okay. Um, I made this from scratch. Just okay. What's in it? It's strawberries, sugar, and water. You cook it all down, let it simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then I actually used an immersion blender to make sure there wasn't any chunks in it. Right. Um, and then I let it set in the fridge for about two to three hours. Okay. So you don't want to fill it all the way. Oh, yep. Maybe, Is that too maybe much? a little bit less. Okay. Yeah, a little all bit right. less. Sorry, should have said that first. That's okay. Because then we'll take just a small bit of cake. I got some too if you need some more. Okay, and we're going to put just a very thin layer to kind of cover up that jam. I feel like the third one every time has been the best. That's, you know, practice makes perfect. That's right. So again, maybe a smaller little right. rectangle here. Just enough to kind of create a barrier with that jam and the chocolate we'll put on top of it. All right, Bree, so we've got the, the chocolate mold. We've yep. got the uh, the chocolate cake mixture. Strawberry chocolate cake, Strawberry yep. chocolate cake mixture, hollowed out or formed yep. out, and then we just put the jam in. Jam put in Put the it. cake 
back on it top. Yep, seal and it off our a next bit. step is to seal so it. So now right? we're going to take some of this chocolate we have over here. Okay. Move it around just a little bit so we make sure it's still nice and pliable. Okay. And again, we're going to get a little bit messy. But what we're going to do. We can be messy. Is we're going to come in and we're going to fill this hole up the whole rest of the way. The difference between yours and mine right now is sloppy and neat. But well, what, this is all still we got to do sloppy. is. Kind yeah, so you'll just kind of scrape it off. If you need to, take this part. It's the perfect length to kind of fit right in between that gap there. Okay. You're right. It's like it was invented for that. Yeah. you got to get a shot of this. Let's hold these up, and I want, th I want <laughs> them right. to see the difference between a professional and a novice. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Oh, it still looks great, though. You're good. Okay. You're good. All right, so now we will let this set. Okay. So we'll put and it how do we let it set? Just, in the fridge. Just, okay. Yep, we'll put it back in the fridge for a few minutes. All right. And so how long will these stay in the fridge? Uh, about three to five minutes. You really just want the chocolate to harden up so they're able to come out of the mold. Okay, and once they're out, what do we do? So you'll kind of peel the mold apart on each side of it. Okay. And then this part's really fun to me. It just pops right out. Oh, okay. Just like that. Yeah. Ooh, mine turned out good. They look fabulous. Nice. And again, normally this is where gloves would help kind of not get some fingerprints. Uh-huh. But you know, it's okay. It's okay. I want to tell you one thing that I am good at is I'm a great designer. Okay, I can't so wait to see. Maybe your on the hard decorating work. side, I can redeem myself. The donuts look great, so let's see what you do with some chocolate work. Okay. Okay. So t tell okay. us what we do now. Um, so now we have uh, this is called flash dust. Okay. It is edible glitter. Okay. Take it and you just kind of give it a little pizzazz. Okay. Where do you buy something like this at? If you were going to do this at home. Online. Okay. You just kind of Google edible and it's called glitter. flash dust? Yep, edible flash dust. Edible glitter. Yep, okay. edible glitter. All right. And then you'll take your chocolate. Okay. I'm going to let them get a close-up of you doing that. I'm going to get to work Perfect. over here on mine. You do it. I can't wait to see. So you just give it a little light drizzle of chocolate. Take some of our strawberry cookie crumbs and just do a thin little line on top. Okay. I'm pretty quick on this, by the way. Yeah, we'll turn it around so you get that pretty one right there. Okay. Uh, okay. I, look at mine, though. I think that's better than look I did. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Who's the, who's the champ now? I think you're the professional. <laughs> you need a job? <laughs> Um, so talk about Delish Emporium a little bit more. Where can people find out more about you guys? you have a website? Uh, yes, our website is just delishemporium.com. Pretty straightforward. Uh, any social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok even, is uh -huh. just at Delish Emporium. Okay. And uh, again, these were called? Cake Rollettes. Okay. And then we had over here the? Waffle Batter Donuts. That your fiance, Jay Sweets, did. Yes. You are Breed Delights. I'm Todd Thomas and? And Todd's in my kitchen. All right, I'm going to try one.